Okay. Never getting used to that. Yes, yes. I already thought I would quit, but um, for some reason I have an urge to go on. Primarily because this place seems interesting. Also because... Ah, uh, worms. Yeah. Studying. What are those? Slugs. I don't like slugs. That's another thing Resident Evil taught me. Don't play with slugs. Slugs will eat you. ignore that. I think I will have to go down here. Or not, because I can't go down here. Not long ago. I don't see many skink lizards out. Yeah. What? Who the hell's been writing these? Same text on all three walls. Dax, they left the blood. Shit, this place just got creepy. They left the blood lonely. Lonely blood is deep. Head is dying. Darkness the darkness eats. Flesh feeds dark. Or cold seeds devour cold. What the hell is this all about? Yeah, thanks, but no thanks. While you hunt for those delicate, uh, melt-in-your-mouth mousy morsels, there are places you should not go, for, for fear of death. The Reaper lives here, just like you and I. And just like you and I, he must ingest the living flesh of those less fortunate than him. There is a small place that I do not want you to visit, even on your holidays, because it is dark and evil place that I've been. When the darkness has overwhelmed my small, decaying mind, some bad things have flowed from my mind and through my pen. The brilliant blue ink itself seemed to turn to blood into my grace. And by the way, should you turn peckish, red is at its finest sautéed with a little engine oil. <laughs> so it's been red. Who wrote those? So he also bricked up the wall. supposed to do now? <sighs> what did you do, Red? And why? Shit, 
you scared the living shit out of me. I have a feeling something's going to come through there. Something's going to come from somewhere. Was that really it? I was thinking there'd be a code or something. Or is there still a place I haven't looked at? It has to lead somewhere. It can't have ended this. Like this. Oh! Cool thing is, there's power down here. It's a picture of the rockworm close up. I'm getting chopped up. Anti corruption stance hangs in balance following accusations. Whoops! How did I do that? So what did Red do here? Why and how? No more need to ask whose, we know whose it is. Oh, these do open. These could contain something interesting. I didn't think they'd open. Didn't notice the cursor before. Damn it, empty. Those look like baby worms. B -b -b baby worm. I have a feeling Red's going to try to eat me. I think his words about man meat being bland which is troubling because he knows what man meat tastes like how did i do that seriously am i really just going to have to go back i guess so oh another reason i have to quit soon sun is going to be in a position that it's going to shine through all the windows and I can't see anything. Actually... No, f no idea. Why would I go back there anyway? So I can't go back there. Can't go through here. Maybe I need to break something. They'll do anything. Doesn't seem like these can be pushed or moved. Nothing behind. Oh, 
Oh, I can have some more light in here. How pleasant. Close these for neatness's sake. I have a strong feeling I need to crawl in there. I can't get it open can't fit through. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Professor, these are biomedical journals of Dr. J. Peters, MSc, PhD. Completed between the dates 30th of March 1969 and 1st of January 1972 at the Northwestern Research Station within the Northwestern Iron Mine with the permission of Delta Mining Corporation. Replication of selected extracts left at the disposal of mine foreman. Subject of study, genus... Ryacophila, commonly grey rec rec rock worm. Aim to investigate the abnormal presence of these caddis in the Greenland rock. Method, collection of samples, if indeed they can be indefinite. identified correctly. Standard series of testing, observation, dissection. Personal notes. Upon arrival at the mining facility, I was immediately stunned by the sheer volume of fauna that finds a way down way of life down here, despite the conditions. In general, one would assume that species whose natural habitat has passed a certain death would find the intrusion of human activity too great a threat to remain in place. However, almost the exact opposite seems to be the case in this instance. It is curious that certain areas of the mine appear to be entirely without life of any kind, and yet others, deeper areas, are teeming and were the situation permitting, I would embrace the opportunity to commit further time to the study of these organisms. However, the purpose of my stay here shall continue to be the genus Ryakphila. Me. Ah, finally, some writing paper. Look at me, just using a page to scroll down whatever comes into my head. Ha! What is this stuff anyway? Some kind of research paper. No matter, it's, pa it's paper all the same. I can finally recall what's been happening down here. I suppose about a year. Now, it must be near 2001 by now. Huh, I wonder when Christmas was. No matter, too tired to write now. We'll rest for a little first. Professor. Me. Professor, okay, anyway. Samples collected. The collection of pr process has been far easier than I t anticipated. The setup of the artificial environment for the rockworm went without a hitch, and the specimens themselves are so abundant as to make keeping them out far more challenging than containing them. They are all of healthy size, perhaps even beyond recorded size, and I can only assume that this is due to some lack of natural predators down here. Specimens are as follows. Three adults in artificial habitat, two larval infants, dead. Me. I've been down here two days now, was meaning to record events every day, but was too busy securing the area. I've used the supplies from the old mining system to wall myself in here. It seems as safe a place as any, so... Those things should at least stay put for a little while. To that end, seems I've had a pretty lucky stumbling here. All this old research is about something similar to what's been hunting me ever since I escaped the shelter four days ago. Don't get me wrong, after what... After what they did to me back there, I'd rather be facing anything else. And after almost a year of fighting for our lives, we didn't really stand a chance anyway. I don't know how many are left inside, but... This is good. These notes might have some uh, way to find the things, the rockworms that followed me here. I don't know how they knew I was coming or how they managed to follow me in the dark, but maybe I can walk that out, out now. I found some old newspaper clippings. I guess they're referring, referring to this mine. I've had no idea it was this old. So big. I can see now why they built that facility here in the first place. A lot of history buried down here. What facility? 
2001, 2000. So, there's something new down here, something they built recently. Very recently. It worries me, though. We'd been resting all our hopes of rescue on one of the scientists who escaped right near the start of it all. He got out almost as the chaos began, so we figured he might have made it out and brought help. But maybe me and him are due to the same fate. I think I met the first escapee in the... who cut out his tongue elsewhere, eating spiders. I must record what's been going on. Give all the world the answers I need so it doesn't fall prey to what's been released down here. But first, I need to worry about myself, find a way out of here, and work out how to kill these worm things. Professor, observations. The creatures are indeed larger than has previously been recorded. The juveniles seem to still be growing, far beyond their natural limits, although the adults have now expired. I will watch with interest to see what the lifespan of this particular subspecies. The worms appear to have three senses, as would be validated by previous research. Taste, smell, and extremely sensitive sense of touch, which allows them to detect vibrations in the rock in the same way that the human eye senses beams of light and possesses them into spatial images. The natural prey is insects smaller than themselves, and heaven help those insects, because the worm is a vicious and efficient killer. Me. He's wrong. They have no sense of smell. Today I attempted to distract them with a concoction I found lying around, but to no avail. However, it does seem that they detect movement via vibrations, which would explain how they can see in the dark. Damn. There's almost no way to escape them down here. I'm on their territory now. Lifespan is three days and counting. I can still hear them outside the wall. As an extra precaution, I've locked myself in the smallest study area connected to the main lab room. If they get through the wall, that wall, I doubt this door will stop them, but it's better than nothing. Barely. Professor, conclusions. This subspecies of genus Ryakfila is highly adapted for its environment. If released above the surface, it seems likely that it would quickly destroy the existing rockworm population, and soon after that, the population would grow to a size far outstripping its own food supplies. Given its increase in size and lifespan already, due to unknown conditions, I would hypothesize that the worm, if left in su such conditions for a reasonable period of time, perhaps three or three to four thousand years, could grow up to a further three inches, making it a total of almost one foot long. Fuck you, Professor! It's had a few decades and it's fucking miles long, right? I don't know. Meters long. Several of them. However, should those conditions change or indeed magnify, physical evolution could occur far more rapidly. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. B. It is the fifth day today, and I swear they have begun to surround my location. I can't tell whether or not they have breached the wall I built, but I'm certain they haven't. They've entered whatever area surrounds this room. The future looks increasingly bleak. I intended to record here the events of the past year in the hope that perhaps what occurred could be contained or driven away. Now I realize I could write all I wanted down. No one will ever make it down here to read it. Hello, I'm here. Good for you. So why write this now? Good question. I have no answer. All I do now is... I, all I do know is I'd rather take my own life than die in the, at the hand, jaws of those hideous monsters. I have tr tied a noose. Those monsters may feed on my corpse, but they won't take my life. I believe you are wrong. Also, I don't see your noose. So, I guess he failed. Looks like he was eaten. Dragged away and munched. Open up. Open! Well, that wasn't very helpful either. I'm giving up on that. Doesn't seem to be a way through. to have been disturbed recently. I'm not entirely sure what year it was that the game started, I can't remember. But, um... 